be found among the crafts in this city. The bigger the merchant, the smaller the jewel. A Grimoinoid. A
מי שראה את הדין, Thank you, Rachel. I was aware of that. Yes. Good. I was reading an article that I'm going to be using for my sermon on Friday night. I might even use it for my Talmud class this morning. <clears throat> Boker Tov. Boker Or. Good morning. Glad you could join me for our daily meditation and intention. So, what I started talking about yesterday, and I thought it would be a theme for this week, is um, getting off autopilot. You know, so much of our lives are spent... Uh, in habitual activity, things that uh, we don't think about very much. Have you ever noticed? Um, have you ever noticed that when you're driving home for, from your work or from some place that you hang out during the day, and uh, you might draw, you might be in your car for a half an hour, and uh, you don't remember anything in the trip. During when you were driving, you just, you, you, you know, if somebody said, did you take Pembroke Road or did you uh, uh, go down uh, uh, Hollywood Boulevard? You, you go, well, I usually go down Hollywood Boulevard, but to be honest with you, I don't remember because you, you do it so automatically. You do it every day, so you don't think about it very much. And it's a little bit scary to think that you might drive five or six miles on automatic pilot. Now, um, you know, being on automatic pilot sometimes is all right. Uh, certainly you don't, uh, you don't need to be absolutely be thinking about everything that you're doing when you're doing it. But when you're driving, you, uh, you really should be awake. You should be not in your head, but you should be focusing on what you're doing. Uh, you know, some things we do just by habit, and that's all right sometimes. But, there, but we, we don't want the majority of our lives to be lived on autopilot. We need to sometimes break out of our habits and there are simple techniques that you can 
there are simple te- whoop I'm sorry about that there are simple techniques that we can use uh, to break out of our habits uh, you know there there's the simple technique of uh, of just doing something very differently um, you know if you drink your coffee with your right hand you might think of just picking it up with your left hand once in a while. You might think about driving home in a, little, in a different way. If you attend a meeting on a regular basis, what you might do, and, and you sit at a table with other people, uh, and you usually sit in one particular chair, you might just decide you might just decide one, uh, uh, on, one, on a day to sit on a different chair, just to have a different view of things. It, it, it's something so simple, but we get very comfortable. We get very comfortable in, uh, in doing the same thing over and over again. And what this causes us to do is to, be, is to live in our heads rather than in our reality. So, uh, you know, here's a, here is a, um, a technique that I'm going to share with you this morning. Um, it's a short body and breath meditation designed to settle and ground yourself in the present moment. Now, you start by finding a comfortable position. You can either be lying down on a mat or a thick rug, or, or you can sit on, on a firm, straight back chair, a cushion or a meditation stool, anything like that. If you're sitting on a chair, allow your feet to be flat on the floor with your legs uncrossed and your spine straight so that your posture supports your intention to be awake and aware. In this way, the posture is dignified, but comfortable, not stiff or tensed up. If you're lying down, and if you're lying down, that's fine. Allow your legs to be uncrossed, your feet falling away from each other, and your arms lying alongside, slightly away from your body. Now, if you're doing that, allow your eyes to close if that feels comfortable, or lower your gaze. Your eyes might be open, that's fine too. You might allow them to close or you just allow your gaze to lower. Bring your awareness to the sensation where your body is in contact with whatever you're sitting or lying on. Spend a few moments exploring these sensations. At a certain point, gather your attention and move it to focus on your feet so that the spotlight of attention takes in the toes, the soles of the feet, the heels, the top of the feet and the ankles. Attend to any and all of the physical sensations you can be aware of in your feet and ankles, moment by moment. Now notice sensations arise, rising, and, and dissolve in awareness. If there are no sensations, simply register a blank. It's perfectly fine. We're not trying to make any sensation to happen. We're simply registering what is already there when we attend to it, okay? So here we go. Um, I think we'll have a little music when we do this this morning. Close your eyes or allow your gaze to, to lower as the sound of the bell fades into the universe. Allow yourself to enter into a meditative state.
And today we're going to, first of all, notice our breath. Just noticing, being attentive to our breathing. Not controlling anything, just observing, being awake, being fully conscious of our breathing. If thoughts should enter our mind, just just acknowledge them and let them go. And now we bring our focus to our feet. Registering any sensation that we feel in our toes. What are you feeling in your toes? You might notice your toes on your right foot. You never give them or seldom give them any attention. But your toes keep you balanced and help you walk, help you propel from step to step. So you just notice. You notice the toes in your right foot. If there are no particular sensations, just take note of that. We're not trying to cause any sensations. We're just being attentive to them as they rise. And the feeling of the arch of that right foot Explore it. Explore the arch of that right foot. And the heel of your right foot. Notice those points of contact between your right foot and the surface upon which you are sitting or lying. what's happening on the top of your foot. And now, bring your focus to the left foot and the toes of your left foot. What are you feeling? Notice each toe and just register whatever you're feeling. in your toes of your right of your left foot Notice what's happening in the arch of your left foot. Notice 
variations in the temperature of the surface of your left foot, especially in the arch. Explore the surface of the arch of your left foot. Without thinking, without judging, without forcing anything, just observe. Bring your attention to the heel of your left foot where it might come into contact with the surface that is supporting you at this time. If your mind should wander away, just gently bring it back. To focus on your left foot. Gently allow your attention to rise in your left foot up into your left ankle. What are you feeling there? Are there sensations on the surface of your skin? Are the muscles relaxed or are they tense in the ankle of your, of your, in your left ankle? And now bring your focus to your right ankle. What sensations are you feeling in that part of your body?
as the sound of the bell fades in to the distance. Take a, take a deep breath and release it. Take another deep breath. Release it. Open your eyes and adjust to the light. Stretch a little bit. Good. Well, today, try and um, try and break some of your habits. Some of your when you find that you are running on uh, automatic pilot, just notice it. Don't be mad at yourself. Don't judge yourself. We do it all of the time. But when you notice that you are on automatic pilot. Let that register and become a little more conscious of what you're doing. Whether it is doing your laundry or washing the dishes, sweeping the floor, taking the garbage out, whether it's taking a walk whether it is filling up your gas tank at uh, the service station. Bring your attention to it. Just feel and experience every sensation that is involved in that activity, that simple activity. Well, uh, Boker Tov, Boker or I hope you can join me for my uh, Talmud class at 11.30 on Zoom if you uh, need the information uh, about how to get into our Zoom, our, our Zoom uh, class. Uh, just call the office and uh, Jackie will give you the information, will give you the password and all of that. Uh, and um, so I will see you soon, I hope. In the meantime, remember to smile and to bring a smile to the face of at least one other person that you encounter uh, on your journey this uh, today. Boker Tov.